Hello and welcome to another Miniature Realms video. Um, today we have another short unboxing for the ever-growing small, in inverted commas, um, bolt action project that I've got going on at the moment. But rather than kind of do the unboxing within the project vlogs, I thought I'd do them as separate little videos. So anyone who uh, maybe wants to see what these kits are like that hasn't already can can watch it without having to watch me drone on and on about the project itself. Um, so. Again, not necessarily a new um, a miniatures kit, but um, new to me. Um, so I thought I'd do a little unboxing for it anyway, and I'll also build the kit, not on camera, but I'll build the kit um, so you can see what the, the stuff looks like when it's all made up. Um, but I will stress, especially to Leslie, uh, there will be no painted miniatures in this unboxing video. Right, so, so we have the 8th Army 25 pounder and quad tractor from Warlord Games. Okay, so let's have a little look. So it's 1 to 56 scale, so yeah, 28 mil scale. Get the bit of the box. Let's have a little look at the back so you can uh, see what it should look like. Um, so you've got your, your quad tractor here, your 25 pound gun, and your crew, and it's a mixture of resin and metal. So much like you get with a lot of the uh, Warlord um, tanks and trucks and things that are armour, you get your uh, smoke and sort of explosion markers and stuff, so fantastic. Um, we've got the box with all the, the metal parts in it. I should say as I'm doing this, I am brand new to bolt action itself. Let's look at those in a moment. Um, so if I say some things that uh, seem a little bit strange, that will be why. There's a bit of a journey I'm going on. Right, so this is the quad tractor, and I believe the uh, the, the limber. Uh, I don't know. If it's going back into my black powder days, but um, let's have a little look, and hopefully this focuses all right. Um, so this is the quad tractor itself. Looks pretty good. Um, I've had a lot of experience with resin tanks from Forge Wild. Um, generally a lot bigger than this, but this looks pretty good. A little bit of plastic on the top there. It's a relatively clean cast, especially on the top. It's so pretty much one solid piece. Would have I preferred a plastic kit? Maybe, maybe. Um, at least it's nice with the windows of the plastic kit, so you don't have to kind of end up with a... a it's hard to avoid a cartoony effect. Um, so I'll have to think about how I'm going to paint the windows. The images that on the uh, box art that I previously showed you, um, for me, stand out a little bit. So I might go for a more of a darker look, which we'll see. Morris Quad, North Africa on the back. So very little clean-up underneath the bottom here, maybe a little bit on the wheel arches and things. Um, can't see any large miscasts or anything that's going to cause a problem, especially with the time you've added some weathering and some dirt and things around the edges. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and the wheels are obviously going to be metal. I'll just take a very brief look at the, uh, again, someone put in the comments what it's actually called, but the uh, effectively the, the trailer um, that, that you attach the um, gun to itself. Thinking back to the old horse days, it would be called a limber. I'm sure they've changed the name by then. My uh, lack of knowledge for the uh, more modern eras coming through here. So this is the uh, the inventory and the gun itself. So, so a little bit about resin kits. It tells you about care with resin kits. I imagine it tells you to wash them and things like that. Um, using super glue. Blah, blah, blah. So all the stuff you'd not expect for, for a resin kit. Um, and then we have the guards, which uh, if you see my previous unboxing um, of the M3 Stuart tank, I was really impressed with. I didn't know they put in, in the boxes and I like, I do like cards like this. Um, that looks a little different. The windows are a little different on there on the non sort of desert version. Um, not quite so cartoonish, but uh, Yep, yeah, really handy, really good. There we go, that's the desert version. It's a lovely paint job, but I just think it stands out from the kind of more realistic 
view you have for the for the rest of the paint job so to speak but well i'll try and find a way around that um and some transfers or decals depending on what you want to call them um quite a lot there i'll have to do some research before i stick the uh, the the numbers and things on before someone tells me that the unit that i've selected wasn't in this or that but uh they're obviously far more than i need for this so i'll be able to use them on on some other some of the stuff that i've got from other manufacturers right so let's have a little look at the parts it's like the main sort of part of the gun the main base got here so obviously so we can turn in position Yeah, lots of little bits of metal. That's all fairly nicely cast. It's not going to take an awful lot of clean up. So wheels for the uh, quad tractor itself. Four of those naturally. Wheels for the gun carriage. the base that goes on the ground for it to fit on afterwards to see how I base this and whether I make it removable um, I won't glue it on a base for now but very cool I think the parts of the quad tractor the mud guards etc good front of the quad tractor just the grill and the lights um, and the side panels there we go it looks like the rear of the quad tractor right let's clear them out of the way not very interesting those parts on their own but they look pretty good and should clean up fairly well Let's um, see if we can bring these a little closer. So I think he's really nice. I'm a fan of the plastic models, but I do like the fact that these guys have got hot work. So that stripped down, it definitely has a lot of character. So while the rest of the force I've planned, I think is going to be all plastic. I think just these metal parts on the desk here at the moment will be the the only metal parts that I've actually got planned. And they are really characterful, very, very cool. And the last one. Definitely hot work. No, these are lovely, lovely sculpts. I'm going to have a lot of fun painting those. Real character in them. Right, so, bases we've all seen before. Um, what I'm going to do now is spend some time building, and then I'll come back and we can see it all built. And here we are back with it all built. Um, so I'll, I'll zoom in in a moment. We'll have a closer look at it, and just a couple of couple of points on it. Generally, the kit was um, very easy to clean up. Um, no problems with it going together in terms of miscast pieces or anything like that. I would say um, it would benefit from having some assembly instructions. There's absolutely nothing other than looking at the pictures on the box, which you don't see from every angle, or using the website. Um, which gives you a couple more angles and then I found myself Google searching and looking at other people's models and things just to double check the way I thought certain pieces went. Um, 
I suppose, especially if you're not familiar with the period and you're new to the period, um, and I know how big bolt actions become from Warlord games, um, so there will be people who are maybe coming across from, from sort of 40k and things like that who are used to everything being laid out for them. Um, so you, if you have some younger, less experienced hobbyists, they might find it a bit of a head scratcher and then they might make a mistake of super gluing the thing in the wrong place. Minor thing. Um, you know, it is a, it's clearly a resonant and metal kit. It requires assembly. It's, you know, it, it, it's meant for adults, but um, I definitely feel that uh, for all the good stuff they do, like putting in printed cards for the, for the game, um, to actually put some assembly instructions in it would be, be worthwhile. Um, so, but aside from that, that would be my that would be my only thing. It goes together really, really well. I think it's a lovely, lovely kit. I've already mentioned the quality in the character of the miniatures. Let's zoom in anyway and, and have a, a slightly closer look at um, what the miniatures look like. Um, so this is the gunner that, that comes without a base. Um, so I've glued him on the base. Um, I've decided to just use the bases that they have here. Um, the base in the picture is is, is much larger. Um, it clearly holds the whole gun and it's it's full tail and we'll see when I lift it on here in a moment. Um, but this looks quite cool. I've glued him on because I can paint him quite easily on the base from here because this will all will be on the base apart from any uh, extra sort of basing things that I put on. Um, so the gun hopefully not falling off we can get this back and focus in go and fits on something like that fits on if it's on enough it's absolutely fine um but it's not uh it's not as big as the one that's just pictured on the box um which would be cool um but i suppose it being smaller if you are using individual bases for your crew, which I believe might be better for game, but maybe not so nice for scenic sort of looking things, um, at least they can get close enough to the gun, so to speak, so they looks so it looks realistic. Um, if it was a larger base, I would have perhaps made some space to have them so that they're removable. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, so I will leave that separate. I'm not going to glue it together after painting because um, I think because it looks better then once it's uh, limbered up so to speak rather than just being there for um, for show it's nice to have the have the quad actually towing it so pretty happy as I said this would have been lovely if it was in plastic or something but you know what I think it's absolutely fine um, this you know, as I said the character of these is brilliant I think they're fantastic and I'm gonna have loads of fun painting them up. Um, let's grab the next little dude. There we go, as we come into focus now. So I'm carrying a shell. Really nice. I think they'll paint very well. They're very plain models as well because they're unencumbered. They haven't got lots of web and webbing and uh, packs and things. I think they'll paint relatively quickly. All the little fiddly bits that take your time aren't there. Um, big fan of this one. Mopping his brow. But uh, very happy with these as a whole. Let's well, be interesting to if I just grab one of the plastic guys and see how they compare scale wise. It's going to focus. Pretty good, pretty spot on really. No issues there. Okay, so let's bring them to the last bits. So we have the the toe, the limbo. I decided to decided to go with the doors shut um so i quite like the idea of it looking mobile um, but these little doors can be fixed open to rest on these supports answers on a postcard or uh, in the comments below for what they're called um but that's great and obviously that attaches to the back and this is the quad tractor itself 
and again it was pretty easy to um, build. Didn't have any issues with it at all. metal parts but they went on relatively easy. The autofocus seems to be obsessed with the netting on the back. Some nice little details. So just little things about not having the instructions. I guess that panel went there but in the picture on the 8th army painted models in the uh, on the box art and things it doesn't appear to have it and then finding it on the quad tractor on its own on the website and finding it on there and it looks slightly different just that not not knowing just took me a few more minutes with checking and it's a shame to have to google something to to find out it wouldn't need to be a very very detailed um look in fact i when i was on the uh the website looking at pictures I clicked on reviews and there's one review on there and it all it says was it's a shame not to have a parts list and assembly guide so um but yeah I'm I'm really happy with them um I think they went together pretty well and uh I would, yeah definitely recommend it I'm not sure if there's any alternatives at this scale out there um I did a quick very quick google search I know Rubicon didn't do one um I was looking to do as much plastic in this army as possible but um comments below let me know what you think of it and um you, you will see see it painting at some point in the future as part of my little eighth army project if you haven't seen them already i do have a vlog for that i think as i'm recording this there's only one um vlog up but um vlog number two and three you no know, doubt will be going up in the next week or so as i build and get more stuff ready to start painting but thanks for watching um have a look at the channel there's um there's going to be lots of historical things on there mainly bolt action and black powder and american civil war acw stuff for the epic stuff at the moment um but there will be more things following as well so if that's floats your boat um hit the subscribe button and i'll catch you soon